made a map with all the stars hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome please make sure you subscribe like comment hit the notification button so you get notified whenever i post a new video so today's video is on how to create the simple soft glam how to diy do it yourself at home without going to a professional makeup artist to get it done so if you are interested make sure you keep on watching so you want to start by making sure your face is clean you can use a makeup wipe or a makeup remover to get rid of any makeup or any dirt on your face then the next step is to moisturize and prime your face so to do so i'm using ms matrix moisture potion and remill london stay match primer as my primer and moisturizer then you want to move on to foundation I'm using Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shade 355 which I applied all over my face using a damp beauty blender So next you want to move on to concealing To conceal I'm using LA Girl Concealer in the shade 4 and Nuban Beauty Concealer in the shade 43 So you want to apply the concealers under your eyes, the bridge of your nose, your forehead, your cupid bow and your chin So after concealing you want to blend the concealer using a damp beauty blender and then using a setting powder you set all the places you concealed using this new setting powder i got the aoa studio perfect finish setting powder i'm mixing the setting powder with nuban beauty setting powder in the shade sahara because the aoa one was too light for me so now i'm just using a powder puff to press the setting powder into the places that i highlighted So after setting the concealer, you want to contour your face as well and for that I'm using this V Beauty powder palette and my contour brush from Bobbi Brown. You want to make sure you contour your forehead as well and your chin. So after contouring, you want to bake under your eyes using that same setting powder you used earlier to add extra brightness and color under your eyes and to serve as a barrier between any eyeshadow fallout and your skin so work. at this point our skin work is done and the next step is the brows so I'm using beauty line by DD brow pencil to do my brows you want to start by brushing out your brows using a spoolie then you want to start outlining the brow following your natural brow line and then you want to fill in the brow using the brow pencil if you'd like to see a more detailed video on how i do my brows i have a video on it on my channel i'm going to leave the link to it in the description below so make sure you check it out and watch the video so after filling your brows the next step is to conceal the brows using the same shade of concealers you used earlier so as you can see I concealed off camera using those same concealers the new one beauty and the LA girl one so the next step is the eyes since we are going for a soft glam we are going to use just neutral colors nothing extra nothing too shouty so for that I'm using Zaron eyeshadow palette in earth so you need a transition color which is your first color which you're going to apply in your crease and i'm using the shade coral for that which i'm blending into my crease using my brush from zoeva then i use the shade duke as my second color which i applied over the transition color then i went into the shade mocha to further define my crease so now for the lead color i'm using blossom cosmetics eyeshadow palette in african queen and I'm placing the shade Chisum, which is a matte light brown color, using a flat eyeshadow brush from Bobbi Brown. So the eyes is done. You can see how it turned out. Yeah. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the look. So as soon as you're done with the eyes, the next step is to line your eyes. And I line my eyes off camera using Kiss Beauty Gel Liner. Because it's almost impossible for me to light my eyes on camera after that you want to put on your falsies I use the backarding cell lashes in the style 3d 70 so at this point we are done with the eyes the brows we are going to go finish up the skin work and I'm using that same V beauty powder palette to contour my nose 
and to set the rest of my face. I'm using the shade Sweet Honey and Caramel to dust off the satin powder under my eyes. So after that, the next step is to apply blush and I'm using the Girl Nights Out blush palette from V Beauty. I'm using the third and the fourth shade. Then the next step is to apply highlighter or glow. I'm using Taos Ink Highlighter to highlight my cheekbone, my nose, my cupid bow and my brow bone. So at this point we are almost done, we are going to do the lips now. I will be using adventure lipstick to line my lips then I am going to apply that orange nude orange shade right there from the Hush Beauty lip palette. I am so sorry about the light change so Nepa took light and I had to continue the video. The show must go on. So now I am just lining my lips with that brown lipstick. And then I applied the orange one in the center and I'm blending it using my lip brush from Bobbi Brown. So that's basically it. That's how to DIY do it yourself. Simple, soft, glam. If you are still watching, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. Share with your friends and family. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.